Welcome to our first podcast. podcast. Yeah. Yeah. We practiced that for like that. an hour. Uh. Where are we going from there? Oh, yeah. Uh, we went to OzCon May 3rd. And 4th. Yeah. It was uh, Nicole's birthday, actually. Yay. And uh, first things first, uh, it was sponsored by Crunchyroll. And I'll link that in the description. It's pretty awesome. You can watch anime there. Oh, and if you have uh, Xbox Gold, you get it for free. Dude, we're plugging left and right. Everybody go to Taco Bell. They have breakfast now. <laughs> <laughs> because we do Taco Bell all the time. Oh, and uh, the footage that you're watching is actually from... Gameplay. That we recorded from Oz at Oz... From OzCon at OzCon? Which oh. one? It, whatever. You know we what were recording about. at OzCon, so people were playing games for free and everybody was happy. Oh, yeah. I, I think our booth was the most crowded at some we points were, in time. It was constant. If there wasn't the Halo tournament going on, which I placed second in, thank you very much. I didn't, keep, I didn't get to keep the trophy, though, because... Uh, That's it was, dumb. It's one trophy per team, and then it, there were four-man teams, so we all rock, paper, scissored it. Uh. And I placed second there, too, so I'm second place, <laughs> second place, second place. And, uh... Oh, yeah. Uh, showing up. That sucked. Um... We brought a 55-inch TV, two-game, oh, yeah. uh, crap, I dropped the pencil. Three, two, ga oh, excuse me, two <laughs> game consoles. And then a third game console the next day, but uh, that's beside the point. We brought our capture equipment, we brought a... Uh, Computer. A bunch of controllers. We had to borrow some controllers from uh, the college that was there. The college that was actually hosting it. Uh, MSU State. West Plains. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it, it sucked. It, I didn't really enjoy setting up. It took forever, and I was I was tired because I was working an overnight shift at a uh, place, a brainwashing conglomerate, and I won't name any names. Brainwashing conglomerate. I love it. I still work at that brainwashing conglomerate. <laughs> um. What do we got? What do we got? We got oh, uh, uh, some booths. There were a lot of booths. There were really cool booths. The one right across from us was Aardvark Tees. I'll link them in the description. The uh, the lady there, she gave us some shirts because they were awesome. Um, mine's a Doctor Who because I love Doctor Who. Mine but, is um, Pacific Rim and uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. But yeah, you guys should really check out her stuff. It's awesome and she's a super nice lady and her six-year-old kid was kind of kicking my ass in most video games. He I, was super cute. I, I couldn't let, I couldn't beat him because I would have been a terrible person. Was he actually like doing really good though? Nah, he's like, you're getting all button mashy because he's six, but he's he's like, six. he understood what was going on. He could read big words too. That kid was awesome. I love that little kid. And uh, oh, uh, speaking of plugging people some more, um, Nicholas Harry. He wrote a book, I'll link in him in the description below, but it was a really interesting book, actually. It's like a, if any of you have played Fallout, it's like an alternate timeline kind of thing, where, uh, I think Terminator, like, uh, the world's being taken over by robots, but they're like boxy 1950s robots. Kibble robots. Kibble robots, yeah. Yeah, 50 kibble robots. And, um... I haven't got a chance to read any into that book, but the, when you pitched it to me, it just sounded super good. So I'm gonna start reading it. And uh, Alien Graphics, he uh, he made us some like name badges. With, he took our pictures. I was Yours is a name badge. Mine is a license to kill. Nicole has Correction. a license to kill now. Watch out. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'll link him in the description. And uh, ooh, we met some pretty cool cosplayers too. Somebody was dressed up as Deadpool. I played a couple games with him. I believe I have footage of that. I don't know if I'll be able to put it up, but I have footage of it. It's pretty awesome. It was in VC3. MVC3. There we go. That's what I said. I thought you said just VC3. Nope. That sounded like the, the next VCR. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, I played I played a couple games with Deadpool and his apparently girlfriend slash wife. Although she was Loki, wasn't she? Yeah, she was Loki. Yeah, it was she a was completely Loki. handmade costume, and she won the costume contest, actually, which I, I think she deserved to win. It was completely handmade, even though it even looked store-bought. It was that good. The only thing she didn't make was the corset, which she's working on, and, like, the And the boots. boots. Yeah. It, it, was, it was good, and even her staff uh, lit up blue, like, in the movie. I didn't see that. I just saw, like, her outfit. I didn't see her staff go pew, pew, pew. And, uh... 
A dude who was running a booth was Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. He was an artist. Yeah, uh, his name is Tom Wood, and I'll link him in the description also. Oh, you figured that out? I didn't know his name. Yeah. I was just all like, he's Rick Grimes. <laughs> I, I couldn't manage to get him to say, Carl, stay back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my and, God. Um, Tiffany Grant was supposed to be there, even though she wasn't. She had a lot of issues getting there, like her plane, her flight was delayed. And yeah. like um, once she got into town, it was already like super late. This is from my understanding, I could be completely wrong, but uh, she's a voice actress. She was a, yeah. I, I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, it's gonna be Asuka from Evangelion, right? Is that right? I don't know. It's a weird word. I don't but watch she, these things. She was also in Full Metal I Alchemist. I watch that, but she, I don't. I don't. Yeah, she was in Full Metal Alchemist. She was in the Fairy Tale movie, and uh, there's a game that she uh, is credited in. It's a uh, Disex Two Invisible War. I believe that game's on. Uh, maybe I think it's the first Xbox, like the original Xbox. I'm. I'm probably an idiot and completely wrong, but. Well, well, you'll she have a lot of too. corrections in your, uh, in, <laughs> the, uh, in the comments. comments. Actually, it was on the PlayStation 2 because it me, 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 me. And actually, it's pronounced Leviosa. <laughs> Alright. Uh, um, oh, the, uh, the 501st Legion was there. Oh, yeah, They're Stormtroopers. Like, yeah, the Stormtroopers were there. There were two of them. I, I kissed one. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all could have seen that, look. But they're actually recruiting people. Yeah, don't tell nobody. Well, hold on, let me go grab the card. Three hours later. But yeah, um, they're recruiting, and it's just www.501st.com, 501st.com. And of course. Like, if you guys like going to cons, and the people who are listening to this are probably con goers because. Con. Because con, 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 con. Con, con, con. If you like Star Wars and you have like a an idea for a costume, oh, they have to be movie spot on though. Like you no, can't. I, just, I think they just have to like resemble. They like, have to look like the movie. Like you come from the movie. Yeah. But movie still, spot on. like that. I'm pretty sure they they donate to charity and they're fun and they do nice things. They're awesome. It's the 501st Legion, of course they do. In or out of costume, they're awesome. Not so much Deadpool. <laughs> mm, I don't know that one. You just said. <laughs> well, Deadpool, since like he was in full costume, he acted like Deadpool. But when he was out of costume, like he took his mask off, he was still acting like Deadpool. But that inadvertently made the dude seem like a douche. <laughs> but I guess it's hard to separate character from real life when you're at a con. So I'm not gonna be mean about it. Ooh, um. Oh, I forgot to mention, Epic Rage, it's on a Kickstarter right now, it's got four days left as of the time that we're recording this. It's a tabletop RPG Ooh. that uh, people that were at OzCon were trying to get some... Tell um, me more. Well, it's a tabletop RPG. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's local, it's here in um, Missouri. Missouri or West Plains? Missouri. Okay. I, I can't remember. I watched the Kickstarter thing too. I'm like, oh, that looks super cool. We should donate money, but I'm poor because I'm not a super successful YouTuber yet. <laughs> It'll happen. It better happen. But I will be linking that in the description because it looks super cool. The artwork is awesome. And who doesn't like tabletop RPGs? It's true. There was there there were other booths there that were kind of interesting, like that guy with all of the uh, things. He had lanyards and stuff. Oh. I don't think his booth had a name on it. He was just selling stuff. Well, I I don't know if there was a name for most of them, but the, like I know that Game Stash was there, and they're a local. Woo! <laughs> they're a local game store. They were there. They were only there for one day though, which was a total bummer. But uh, Dirt Road Comics was there. And they're they're in uh, Willow Springs, Missouri. I know a couple of them, and I haven't been there in a while. But they have comic books, and who doesn't like comic books? The Book Nook was they there. They mostly have, uh, I think what they have now is mostly like Warhammer stuff in there now. But I know they do have comic books. Oh uh, well, upstairs they have a bunch of Warhammer like yeah. tables set up. It's kind of there. You can play okay. Magic up there too. They play Magic up there too. 
the book nook was there, and they're they're like the a library slash card game slash movie store. They're they have some sweet. comics there too. Th they're an everything store, and I like them. Yeah. <laughs> they sell our favorite card game, Munchkin. <laughs> I love Munchkin. Munchkin is the best. They were selling it as uh, at Ozcon too. I, I saw uh, quite a few people walking away with it actually. Really? Yeah. With Munchkin? Mm -hmm. It's because Munchkin is the best. Oh no, there was a there was a uh, a booth there that had uh, they had their own app. Like an app that they made, you can get it for free or you could buy like the not light version and um, it changed the background on your phone according to the weather that was outside. So if it oh, was like cool. raining, your phone would be raining or if it was like super cold, it would start snowing. And then, I actually, I actually used to have a phone that would do that. But like it was like whenever, no, like the weather. So you gonna find. Whenever it was raining, you'd have like little raindrops on your phone, and there was a little wiper go. Ee, 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 ee. Well, I, I guess that's kind of like what they did, but like they're not light version. It was a little more intensive, and you can do more with it, like the one that you pay for. It was yeah. Drop. Like when the rain hit the, the ground, it was like, and it was like splash and stuff, and you could touch it and like oh, move it away. Cool. It was super cool. I, I just can't remember their names. I hope they see this and send me a message or something, but it was so awesome. I don't even think I have it on my phone where they give me a business card. I'm so sad. It was so cool. You know what else is cool? What? The Oculus Rift. Oh my god, we had Oculus Rift there. I forgot. How could you forget? I don't know. It was the first time I ever played with an Oculus Rift. And uh, it was actually student-made projects that they had them on, and like one of them, it was just like this. It what? was space. It was all yeah, it was spacey. Um, I put on the one that was scary campfire. Oh. I was afraid to look around. I was like, if I look around, I'm gonna find a bear and I'm gonna crap my pants right here in public. Uh, the one that I put on was space, and it was just like this small room with no top that you could just see stars and stuff, and you look up and around. It was like this floaty, explody planet in there and you just follow it around with your head and it was, just, it was super cool and the one that she watched it was uh they told me it was like a slender clone if you've ever played slender ah, good thing i did not look around the, the slender wasn't in it, it i would have cried it wasn't that far along yet. i would have cried i thought about it was me gonna buy anything and then you would have <laughs> I don't even know what to say to you right now. Are we breaking up? No. <laughs> um, one of my games, actually, when I went to MSU, was on display, too. Yeah, it was. But we'll not get into that because I'm already plugging myself enough because I run this channel. <laughs> we run this channel. Urgh. Right. I'll feed you to a rodent of unusual size. I'll find one. <laughs> I'll make them real. An R O U S? Yes. Anything else you want to mention? Uh. Who else was there? Oh, those Dagger Hair people were there. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dagger Hair. I can never pronounce their name. But they're actually stationed in uh, Mountain View. Mountain View? Missouri. I've been to, like, their camp and I made a. Uh, I made my own leather breaker, Aww. which I don't have anymore because I never finished it. But it was fun. But You're so they were cute. they were a little too serious for my taste. Like, I think it'd be fun to smash people around with swords, but when you go there, they're they're in character all the time, <laughs> and it's, it's too much for me. If that's your thing, love kid. No, no, it's like a. <laughs> We win. I'm like, oh, so we're gonna make our own bracers, and he's like, verily, we are making our own braced leathers. So I don't know. <laughs> So, uh, like that movie Role Models? Exactly like Role Models, and it scared me. <laughs> Even though I said, I meant to say <laughs> leather braces, and I said braced leather. I'm an idiot. It's okay, I have backwards talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I have backwards. Nice, high five. Alright, so, that's everything I wanted to mention. Again, sponsored by Crunchyroll. Everybody check those guys out. And, uh, check out Artvark Tees, Nicholas Herring, Alien Graphics, and uh, Tom Wood, I'll link him in the description, even okay. though I didn't write it down. Go find it. And yeah! OzCon was super fun, and I can't wait to do it again next year. Yeah. Super. Oh. Hopefully we have 
better planning on our end this time because we it was a mess and we just kind of pulled it out of our butt.